One of the most useful charts in Excel is a combo chart. As you can see by the example here, the real value of a combo chart is that it allows you to have two different kinds of data that are able to be displayed together. In my example, I have these vertical bars which are sales, and sales are being shown in large numbers like 3,000 or 4,000. I also have very small numbers called margin. I've changed margin to be the line here, and the margin uses the rightmost axis instead of the leftmost axis. Now doing this is very simple on the PC, but on the Mac it takes a couple of extra steps. So I'm going to walk you through the process of creating it. So I'll start off by first deleting my old chart here and starting from scratch. Typically the way you do a chart is you select the data that you want, go to insert, and then choose a standard clustered column chart. And this shows the problem we have in this kind of chart. As you can see, we have great blue columns being shown. However, the orange margin columns are so small that you just can't see them. The first thing you need to do is actually select this data. Normally, you can just click on something that you want to select, but because they're so small, it's almost impossible to click on the tiny little orange bars. What I'm going to do instead is go to the Format menu. Underneath Format, you have a drop-down. The drop-down has series for each column of data. So we see we have series sales and series margin. Choose the one that you want to modify. I'll choose series margin. Once you choose that, now you can see that there's a selection happening on each of these tiny little guys down below. Now that I have them, I'm going to do the thing that's difficult to figure out if you don't already know it exists. Go back to chart design and go to change chart type. Normally when you do this, it'll change the entire chart. However, because I have just one data series selected, it's only going to change the selected data series. I go ahead and choose line, and now you see the line pops up and I can actually see the data series. Now once I have that data series pop up, I can do the second critical part of this, which is to give it a secondary axis. So select it again. If you're lucky, you can just click on it. If not, do the same trick where you go to Format and choose your data series. Once it's selected, you can double click on it to open up this side menu here called Format Data Series. Choose the option on the right. Click on the one that's called Secondary Axis. Once you click on this, you'll now see a new axis pop up on the right side. This new axis can be modified just like the axis on the left can. So for example, I can change the axis option so the maximum is going to be 1 and my units are going to be measured in 0.25. I can even do things like change the number format into a percentage, and now it matches the information that I have in my actual table. So I now have margin being shown from 0 to 100% on the right-hand side, and I have the bars being shown in dollar amounts from 5,000 down to 0,000 on the left-hand side. And this is how you make a combo chart in Microsoft Excel 2016.